Hi, welcome to Introduction to Biochem. If you've made it this far, you should be preparing for your Paper 1, Paper 2 test. So please use the resources, subscribe to the website. There's heaps of extra Paper 2 exclusive video answers on there. And there's also a fully uh, exam uh, set up uh, Paper 1 tests ready to go to help you study. All right, so uh, this is biochemistry. Uh, these are the objectives for you to learn. There are a lot of uh, things to memorize. Uh, this particular unit um, is going to be integrated into the other units using the terminology. Uh, so these ones here are the monomers, uh, the small building blocks that make up the main biomolecules, which are the polymers. Um, and so fatty acids to lipids, you've just got to memorize that. Amino acids uh, make the proteins, nucleic acids make up the RNA and DNA, um, and uh, different types of sugars make up different types of carbohydrates, is the other word if you wanted to know. If you've done biology, you'll be quite familiar with that. So uh, anabolic, I just think of anabolic steroids. So that one's the building up. So that one's going from the monomer to the polymer. Uh, and catabolic, it will just be the opposite. So if it's an anabolic building up, it's breaking down. So it's going from the polymers to the monomers. So that's how I remember that one. Uh, moving on to metabolic pathways. You've got the monomers here. And this one you have the polymers that are joined. So if you break those up and you come in like that, you are going to, I'll use a different pen color, you are going to have these ends coming out. Uh, and so you're going to have to have the water molecule itself, which looks like this, uh, join up and grab those sticky ends. So you grab that. So this bit here is going to be over here and that's going to need, say, like a H to join it up. And the other one will use an ox and a hydroxyl group OH group uh, and that is how it breaks up so the water is going into it um, and so if the water is going into it that's hydro and it's breaking up which license means breaking up uh, bile students have a slight advantage here um, so breaking up water breaking up so the water is going into it and breaking it up um, and then for the monomers water is coming out so these, uh, these groups have OH and H there, and they grab those things and rip them off and create water. So condensation, sorry for that line there, uh, and then they can join up. So you have those things now joining up. Okay, so condensation is usually the gaseous, uh, hits a cold glass uh, and then loses energy and becomes a liquid and so water comes out. Uh, and so that's how you remember condensation is go back to first principles because in the test you're going to be asked to write stuff and, and explain stuff that you haven't seen before. Uh, so don't just memorize it. Uh, go through this as an understanding of how, to, how it all works. And so the monomers becoming polymers, water comes out, it's condensation. And then the polymers becoming monomers, uh, you need water to go into that um, uh, to, to break, to, to meet those broken ends. Um, so here we just have um, some basic of uh, the photosynthesis respiration. Uh, you need to memorize that as it is. You should have been told to memorize that uh, in year 10. So hopefully you're just um, re-memorizing that slide. Um, I'm going to skip that one then. I'll leave you to memorize that and write it out yourself. Um, just a highlight here. Uh, just by putting the numbers in, I think, is just to appreciate the difference when these energy molecules, glucose in this case, um, it hasn't been able to be completely oxidized when there's not enough oxygen. So the anaerobic conditions produce uh, things like lactic acid or ethanol or all sorts of products that we like, actually. Um, so a lactic acid in the, um, in the body. You can see that's only 120. When you can fully burn it, it's like more than 10 times the amount of energy produced. So it's quite extreme, the difference between anaerobic and aerobic um, in energy terms, but um, also you'll get different products as well. Okay, so just quickly, lastly, I'll just go through an exam question. 
Um, so state the name of the process used to break the insulin protein to its consumer amino acids. Now you could just spit out the answer because you've memorized it, but don't do that because you'll get in trouble if there's a harder question. Uh, and so the insulin protein is uh, a protein like this, and it goes to amino acids. So you've got these sticky ends here. How are you going to get those sticky ends there? Or well, how are you going to solve that problem? You're going to need some sort of small molecule uh, that's going to have to break up. And uh, the hydrogen can go here, the OH can go here. So is that condensation? Is water coming out? Um, this touch pad's gone crazy on me. All right, um, no. Um, by the way, I hate touchpads. Can we get rid of touchpads in all computers? We should be. All right. Um, and then, so it's not condensation because water's not coming out. Water's going in and breaking it up. So that must be hydrolysis. And that's your answer. So if you just go to the question, voila, hydrolysis, one mark. Uh, and just, if you're a bit annoyed at all this memorization, just consider all of those complicated equations you've had to work through that should be worth four or five marks and they're only worth one mark. All right.